Passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. Another omen. The lake around the great city of Tenochtitlan rose and boiled. It foamed until it washed against the houses of the city, sweeping many of them into the lake. I accompanied our dignitaries to meet with the new arrivals. We journeyed towards the coast, through the lands of our enemies, the Tlaxcala. When we emerged from the forest, the strangers welcomed us, although they kept their weapons nearby. I told them that we were Aztecs, representatives of the great Montezuma. Their leader said that his people were Spanish, and he named himself Cortes, although he seemed pleased when we referred to him as Quetzalcoatl. Although their armor and animals seemed otherworldly, they did not seem like gods to me. We presented Cortes gifts of finest cotton and plumes of bird feathers, but he seemed more interested in the gold ornaments. He asked again and again if there was more gold to be found in Tenochtitlan. By now, Cortes had advanced all the way to the lands of the Tlaxcala. There was initial warfare made between Tlaxcala and the Spanish. However, when Cortes heard stories about the size of Tenochtitlan and the numbers of our brave Aztec warriors, he suggested that the Spanish and Tlaxcala join forces and attack the Aztecs. We do not know the intentions of these Spanish arrivals. For now, our enemies are the Tlaxcala.
Levanta el guón. Axak. 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 Che. Hijo.
Sacó nada.